Hello friends, welcome to this tutorial, it's been a while. In this tutorial we would like to talk about how to uh, create a slant roof like you can see on your screen in Revit. How is it done? This is what we are going to learn basically in this tutorial. So let's get down to it. Uh, on my floor plan level, I created a a copy of this floor plan that we'll use as an example. This is what we have here. Something like this. So we want to create um, a slant roof that will slope towards this other side in Revit. So what you need to do is to just um, go to your roof components, go to roof by footprint. Uh, should I save? I can save, save project. All right. So go go to. So I will use this roof level as my as my roof plan to create or to sketch out the roof. So you may use whichever level you created for it or whichever way you name your own corresponding levels. Okay, so here, here's the plan. This is the plan that we want to create the roof for. So choose boundary line. Okay. Then I want my offsets to be 600 and that is the eaves of this roof. Then trace out the the roof um, outline. So I'm using my external walls to offset 600. Trace, trace, trace everything. So when you see these um, signs in in those lines it shows that this side the slope will be defined so if you don't want the slope to, de to be defined click those lines and uncheck the box here define slope I don't want to define slope for this side in short you do everything for this side uncheck click this side and uncheck you may choose to do it one after the other if you want to so I will only leave this side I only leave the slope for this side to be defined. Okay. So then I'm, I'm going to click OK. Let's see how it's. Let's see how we have it on the 3D. Interesting. So this is how we have it. So we still need to do some work on this um, on the slope of this roof. So once you click on it, go to your property tab. So presently we have the slope in 30 degree and obviously that is too much for this um, flat roof. So I'm going to use something as as slope as 6 degree. Okay. So here now we can see that the roof is too um, is not in the corresponding level that we want it to be. So once you click on it, you see the, that the base level is in ground level and we don't want it in that level. So I'm going to change it to roof. Exactly. So now I have something like this. Getting better. So the question now is, how do I join these walls down to this roof? I, I, I do I go about that. All you need to do is click on the roof you created, um, then come to your architecture. Okay. Then come to uh, vertical opening. No, not here. Attach. Click on the walls, the external wall that you want to 
attached to the roof level you do not need to be stretching the walls like this that is not necessary so all you need to do is click on the external walls that you want to attach to the level of the roof click on those walls click 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 um, this is not included click 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 the other side then click on this um, attach top or base so I'm going to click this then I'm going to click the roof that I want to attach the wall to now you see what happened so all the walls automatically um, attach to the, to the top of the roof and this makes it easier instead of having to edit the profile of the walls so that it can connect to the level of the roof that is not actually necessary and this one is much easier and faster so this is how you create a slope on um, a flat roof in Revit so here's another thing that you may want to um, do go to your roof plan and this is my top of the roof so you may want to include the slope as well you may want to change the properties how it appears or how it will appear on your roof plan so to add the slope first come to your um, come to modify tab um, annotate tab come to your spot slope then here on this top on this spot slope you can actually indicate where your roof is sloping to and as well as how many degree is the roof sloping towards this other hand uh -huh. so someone looking at this roof plan would know that okay this is the slopeness of this roof but this is how the roof slopes toward this other hand so now we want to change the pattern of how this roof appears in this roof plan so click, click on the roof then go to edit properties um, go to edit then we want to study we are more concerned about this finished one because this type of roof we use they are of different layers you know it, it does have a membrane layer a thermal insulation a substrate uh, all these are substrata that are, of, that are made of concrete but we are more concerned of the finished outlook so we are going to click on this um, asphalt bitumen click this button hold on ok good so then you come to, for, to the surface pattern the foreground so currently the surface pattern is of concrete and we don't want it that way we want something like stripe that to actually um, represent the roof like a real roofing sheet okay all right maybe we can use something like this let's see something like this click ok oh, we still need to work on this thing because presently you notice that this stripe there of angle 45 so you have to come to this edit view pattern then it's already in custom click on the basic the line angle is in 45 we are going to change the line angle to 0 line spacing Let's leave it as two. Um, no, we don't want. We just want it as a parallel line. Okay. I'll run to view. Then click OK. Click OK. Click OK. So click OK. Let's.
let's say it comes up good so now you have the roof plan I mean a, a realistic view of your roof plan so this is how it is done in Revit thank you very much for catching up um, you may want to subscribe to this channel in order to to see more tutorial videos that will be coming up as I post them so that you get notified. Thank you.